Hey guys, how's everyone today? So I just picked up something for the front end. If you remember my last video, I was talking about really not wanting to do anything to the front just because I have a feeling with a either hit a cat or squirrels. There's a lot of like wild animals living where, where I live. So um, I didn't really want to do this lip here. I mean, I like how it looks and all, but I just don't think it'll last. So instead I picked up this, I don't really know what you call this thing, but a lot of you guys have it. It goes, it connects here and it just goes on the paint here and then goes on the bottom. Um, give you an idea what it's gonna look like here. I believe this piece would go there. And just goes like that. So I'm excited about it. I think it'll look really good. And like I said, it doesn't hang down. I don't think maybe on the in the middle it does there. Um, but it just goes double side tape as you can see. There's that piece. There's this one. And then the middle. So pretty basic. Um, like I said, I've seen a lot of you guys put it out in your car, and it I feel it just ties in the the whole gloss black grill here, how it's all black, and then it takes some of the gloss black and then brings it to flow with the uh, fog light surrounds. So very basic here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this area cleaned up here. Very basic, I'll use um, some Dawn dish soap a little bit. And what it'll do is strip the wax in this area so the tape will really stick. Cause that's the main thing. I mean, you're not bolting this thing down. So you just want it to really stick really good. You know, I'll heat it up. Uh, heat the 3M tape up and then apply it. Should be good to go, okay? So let's get started. Okay guys, so I went ahead and cleaned it up. Some Dawn soap, so it's nice and clean. So what I've noticed now, so you're gonna have this piece right here. It's gonna fit like that, okay? But this center piece, which is right here, you see it, the side pieces have to go over this. So you're kind of wanting to install this piece first. So it'd be like that. And then the side pieces will clamp down and just holds it all together as one unit. Um, so what I'm gonna do to make it easier, I'm gonna test fit this piece here, okay? and then get it where you want on the edge, because there's some play. And then I'm gonna line that up and then mark it, okay? And I'm just gonna use some masking tape. Because once you got like this side here marked, it can only go one way. So you just really have to measure one side here. So I'll go ahead. Get it where I like, okay. So then I'm gonna mask that. Perfect, okay. So I made this line. So now put this back and I'll show you. So now if you test fit this piece to here, it should line up perfect with that line. Okay, and so then you'll, you'll know where this piece has to sit. Okay. Okay, so. So what you have to look at now, it goes one way. See, there's, you can kind of put this middle piece on that way, or you flip it upside down, but it, there is one right way to do it. Because if you flip it up, if you look at it, the lines won't match up like that. It's gotta be off, okay? See how it hangs over? So you flip it and it should like interlock, nice like this okay so you know with this tape here that this not this edge of the edge of this piece because this remember this is going underneath the side piece this piece here has to line up with this so it has to be like that 
you look at it. This lines up with this. If you did it like that, you're gonna have a gap because the this piece here is going up and over like that, okay? And like I said, you just have to worry about this one side because the rest will take care of itself too. So wanna make sure that's really good. Double check your measurements, hold it here, test fit this piece, and then run it and see. And I'm happy with that, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the this piece remove the backing, heat it up really quick, and then I'll put it on. That way, you're gonna have this piece exposed so you just overlay it with the side pieces. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I removed the backing. Now you could remove just a piece of it, and then as you put it down, keep pulling the backing off. But with this piece, since you can go underneath here, and only, it really can only go one way. If you look at the how this is designed, it's gonna fit right on the bottom. I'm just gonna put it here and then line it up and then flip it up, okay? So again, remember, it has to go like that. Okay, but I'm gonna remove the tape really quick and move it up so it won't be pinched. Okay, so I moved the tape up. So now you're just matching. Remember, this inside piece to this. Again, so that's good right there. So I'm gonna put it down and then run it all along the bottom. What I would do when you push in, kind of hold your hand on the bottom for leverage. Don't just go pushing on it. Cause you know, these things are pretty flimsy. So I'm gonna put my hand, just push pressure. And what I did, I, got the bottom done. So it's only one piece of tape if you had to pull it back off. And then once you have the bottom all snug, then just roll it up. And then you're pushing it on. Okay. So that's what you got. Now this piece is on. So the side pieces can only go like that. Like one way. So you're just gonna pull the back, stick it. So let me get the tape, the backing pulled off and I'll show you. Okay, so there's the piece. Same thing. I'm gonna start on this side and then just work it over to the side. Because you mainly wanna focus on getting it joined together here. The rest, like I said, if you measure correctly, it'll lay in place fine, so. So go ahead and do that. Same way, I'm just going from the bottom. And I'm gonna join it up here. Just remember to press as you go down. I'm just gonna hold it for a second. Again, you don't have to go crazy with the pressure. I heated the tape up. Just give it some, a little bit of pressure just so it flattens the tape out. Okay, perfect. Check that out. Lines up here, perfect. Goes around, goes all the way. And you don't see any paint in this seam right here. And that's because if you measure correctly, you see where you want it here, then you put your tape here. You know, if you try to get it like eyeball it, if you have any little gap here, you're gonna see paint through it or it's gonna hang on the surround. So it won't really sit flush. So this is nice and tight. I can tell you right now, it's not even budging. So that's good, okay? So now you just have to do this side. And if everything's goes together like you want, it should fit nice and flush. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get that laid out and we'll show you how it looks. Okay guys, so here's the finished product. 
really happy with it. It's really good. Again, I like how the black here grill flows and the bottom now flows and it ties it together. Okay. Now, this side came out perfect. This side was going through it. If you can tell, there was a little bit of paint showing through on the top. Now, remember what I said, this, this can only go one way. I even put a little gap here. If you can see it, I didn't butt it all the way just to try to extend it further this way because it's like a little off. If I did it too much, then it'd be a huge gap in the middle. So this doesn't bug me. Just like what I've noticed, if you look at the gap here, and this is from Honda, this is pretty tight right here. Then if you go on this one, it's a lot wider. So a lot of it's panel fitment, you know? I know this thing's not 100% perfect, um, but as far as why the other side fits a little flusher, again, it's not gonna be 100%. Just like my top grill here, one side is a tad longer than the other, but not a big deal. But I really like how it looks. I think it flows really well. Just gives it that more aggressive look. It just adds a little bit more black to it. And like I said, if you hit anything, since it's not hanging down, it's just the bumper's backing it. So that's what I like about it. It's the main reason I went this route. But I do like the lips. I've seen some of your guys's, they look really nice. I just don't know if it would last that long for me. But I do like them. I think it gives it a nice appearance. You know, nothing crazy again, just subtle, which I like. Okay? So I highly recommend it if you guys are trying to do something that adds just a little more, um, that dresses up the front end just a tad, but nothing overly done and if you guys are lowered any lips scraping those off you know i'd highly recommend this like i said i'm kind of late to this because a lot of you guys have already had this for months now i've seen this part but you know i thought i'd give it a shot so i highly recommend it i'll put the link in the description where i got it i um, highly recommend them too you know it came from china like a lot of this stuff but i got it in seven days they do the the ems so it's accelerated shipping which is nice. You're not going to wait two, three weeks for this thing. So that's a big plus and the price is right. So I'll put the link in the description again. Check it out, guys. Hope everyone's having a good day and I will talk to you guys later.